My name is Jeffrey Cook. I am a resident of Central City. I'm standing on the corner of Carondelet and Felicity Street right now. When I look around, it's changed quite a bit, I would say. Used to be homes here, used to be families here, used to be lots of backyards with clothes on the line, so you knew it. Everybody shopped or what everybody wore Sunday to church. Um, fond memories, you know, I missed them a lot. When I look across the street, I guess there's a huge tree that still grows and still looks fairly healthy right now. I love that area over there because when I was a kid, I guess I was about eight to about 11 years old, totally obsessed with tree houses. And that tree was very appropriate and very, I guess you can say, out of the way of where I live. I grew up on Josephine Street. We didn't have turf wars then, but some kids were very concerned about this kid's not from the neighborhood. So we had a problem getting that tree for our tree house. So what happened one day is um, these young guys, and I don't remember their names at the time, but I would think that they lived on Barone Street, which is a street just right over, didn't want us to, in their neighborhood to build this tree house. We had our little hammers and our wood, so we said, we'll fight you for it. <laughs> Which back then was just, put your little deuce up and a person that gets the biggest punch and a person who cries, get a chance to get the tree house. So we did all kinds of stuff. We, um, we managed getting our tree house that day without any major bumps or bruises. But we ended up befriending these guys, and most of the time it was, I'll dance against you for it, or I'll draw a picture better than yours for it. So there was something interesting happening with Barone Street and Josephine Street young guys then. The treehouse is a fond memory because the tree is still there, even though the treehouse is gone, there's little remnants of ladder on the tree. And it was a gentleman that lived back there at the time, older gentleman, helped us build that tree house. And um, I never forgot it. Every time I pass, I'd always try to remember the essence of just being a kid in this neighborhood. And just the fun that we had in the tree house. It was sort of like our fortress. It was our, our spaceship, our time traveler. But what's strange is also was the evolving of the tree house because there was a moment when it rained one day and we didn't think about if it rains, the ceiling is going to leak. So there's all these little things that came, so it became an art piece. Wherever there was a leak, there was plastic and we nailed wood and we were doing all this little stuff ourselves. We'd bring our lunch up there and we would probably go there during the summertime. Every now and then after school, you know, you know somebody was over there. As long as I could pass here and see that tree, and again, if you look at it, it's in full bloom, you know, there is a sense of hope, I guess you can say. And the hope is that when they do construct new buildings around here that they won't tear it down or cut it down. I'm gonna monitor that because when they do, I'm gonna be over there and I definitely wanna make sure that I get a piece of it. What I'm gonna do with it, I have no idea, but trust me, if I have to spend a night when they're tearing that tree down, I will have a piece of bark or I will have something, perhaps the little stairs but I will get me a piece of my history from that tree when they decide to alter this area and it goes to its private renaissance, I guess you can say.